Welcome to another painting tutorial, and this one we're going to look at Master of the Ravenwing, Samuel. So uh, here's what the guy looks like when he's all done. Um, I actually had the old metal version, which is the same as the fine cast one, but uh, behaves a little bit differently when you're gluing stuff together, and so you'll see some paint coming through corners when I'm painting it, but uh cover all that up later. And of course, because it's not fine cast, there's no little bubbles, so... Anyways, here's the paints I used. It's the same as for the rest of the uh, Ravenwing bikers that I had in another tutorial. I painted this guy up at the same time. And uh, so you got your basic uh, black there for your armor, silvers, golds, a couple little green details, the cloak, and then um, this is for the plasma and the white bits. Those are the main areas, a couple little red details as well, and the purity seals in purple. Okay, so uh, there it is all done, and it's going to show you the different areas. So yeah, the black on here, and as mentioned in the other tutorial, I mixed these two for my base coat and put it on and highlighted with this and washed with that. Uh, for the wings and feathers, the, all these kind of details around the raven wing stuff, so that starts with a gray and it gets highlighted all the way up to the white scar. For the robe there, that's the... Uh, basically the same as my bone colors and um, after I do this this wash here I do the Xandri dust again just so that I get a nice transition to the Ushabti bone. For the green details there's some there there's some underneath the cloak over there you'll see that and the uh, bookmark um, just the Calvin green and warp stone to moot green. Gold details so we got some there some on the handlebars here there everywhere uh, just your basic gold um, with the wash and uh, highlights. Silver, uh, only one highlight on that and uh, so I did that Newland Oil wash the same time as everything else so it all kind of goes together uh, just to help simplify things. Bright red, there's a little bit of it on the book there, some of the shoulder pads on that cape and uh, down there on the plasma cannon. And the plasma cannon as well has a little bit of blue, not a lot of detail there. And purity seals, you can't see them. There's only a couple on that side of the front of the land speeder, and uh, just the purples for those. Okay, so spray painted everything black to start with, and then I did this uh, dark gray coat on. Uh, actually, I do the silver first. That's right. So I did the silver. I find that base coating silver is very, very tedious and slow. So I do it really rough at the very beginning, and then what I'm going to do is come back and I paint the dark gray on everything after that. So all my lines are touched up with that, and now I'm doing my base coat of the cloak there. And there's another angle. Okay, so now I'm base coating all of the white, uh, which is actually gray. And a couple more little gray bits here and there, doing the reds. So I like to do a lot of my base colors first. What it does is it helps me uh, determine what areas the model are going to be what colors, and then that kind of sets the tone for later, and I'm not going back and trying to paint base colors after I've done some highlights. Okay, and uh, I'm going to be adding some silvers and golds in here. Okay, so this is the base coat of the green on the underside of all that cape. And... Okay, so got gold base coats on everything now. Um, I did a bit of brown on those handles uh, and the sword, as well as there's a pistol over on the other side. And of course, the face is just the regular flesh tones. Um, the book here is painted in the same way as this, but uh, I actually go back and do it differently. You'll see that a little bit later. So what I'm doing here is you can see I'm painting all the edge highlights on the uh, the armor there. And you can see it all in there. So I'm just draw, trying to trace around the edges, not being too worried about it because I'm going to be giving everything a black wash. Um, and for this here, I gave it actually a soft body black. It's a Secret Weapon Miniatures wash I picked up at a local hobby shop. And it's just not quite as harsh as the real black. It's also not super flat in color. It's a little bit glossy, but uh, because everything's going to be sprayed at the end, it's okay. So you can see the all the, the grays there have been washed. And um, now I'm going to shade in some of the golds. I think those are actually shaded. Okay, so wash has gone on the cloak here. And so uh, I find that this wash doesn't just perfectly sit in there. So you have to go back with the base color and uh, smooth things out, painting it on again. 
Okay, so I'm doing some of the redoing the base color on that to sort of clean everything up, and then I'm going to draw some of the highlights on. Okay, I think I've redone that book. So that was the uh, Rickler flesh or whatever it is, um, and then the palette witch flesh is what I used to highlight that book, and it was given a uh, Agrax Earthshade wash. Okay, so highlighting up the green there, and you can see just trying to blend it as much as I can using sort of a wet blending, licking my paintbrush kind of a thing. And then the final highlight just sort of on the edges only, and that just helps bring out some of those colors. And you can see that on there as well. Okay, now I'm see I'm blending in here, so I'm trying to trying to get that to be as uh, smooth as a transition as possible. Um, in real life you can tell that it's not super well blended but uh, it's good enough for the tabletop and for these pictures. And then what I'm doing is I'm just working towards, so as I blend each layer I'm just trying to bring it up towards those edges. Okay, and I think I'm doing the same thing on this, it's just hard to tell. And uh, so I'm doing some of these uh, bronze kind of colors on these exhaust ports here. And you'll see that again when I highlight that up. Okay, and that's, uh, so I skipped a couple steps to the end. So I highlighted up that there. So I'm just painting on the uh, the dark blue and then lighter blues towards the edges and a little bit of white along the corners. Did the purple there. Uh, for any of the drawings on that, and you'll see some of that on the this big book at the front here, it's just Rhinox Hide with a really fine brush and trying to just do tiny little squiggles. Um, for the face, just use your regular flesh tones highlighting up to the Eldar flesh, I think it's called. And uh, let's just walk around this thing. So um, most of these white bits are actually just grays, and the edge highlights are up to white. Um... Otherwise, nothing too fancy on this. Uh, pretty neat model. We'll see how uh, see if I ever ended up using it on the tabletop. But uh, with all the new Dark Angel stuff, I figured I had to paint it up now, either now or never. And you can see there's the uh, that that uh, bronze sort of color there. That's just the GW uh, Warp Lock Bronze, I think it's called. Or yeah, I think that's what it's called. It's not the brass, and it's not the gold. Okay, so looking at the face a bit more, I tried to paint some eyes in there. You might be able to see it in one of these pictures. Uh, for all the silver, I went back and I, after the, the Newland Oil wash, went with the next higher color and uh, just tried, tried to catch some of those edges wherever I could. Just to give it a bit of a worn look. And uh, there's the book. I tried to make a little sort of a, some sort of a illuminated text kind of a look there and then just did squiggles everywhere else. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. That's it. Uh, check out my blog. Uh, there's going to be a link in the text below. And uh, check out my other videos on this channel. See you next time.